Good evening, everyone, and welcome to virtual back to school night 2.0 for the 2021-2022 school year. Uh, as principal, I'd like to uh, start off our uh, program this evening uh, by sharing with you a little overview of what we are hoping to accomplish with our students and staff this school year here at Fairlawn High School, and also to uh, let you put some names to faces for some important people uh, in our Fairlawn High School community, uh, both among our staff and also uh, among our parent leaders. So uh, I've started out by uh, sharing my screen here, and I'll just kind of walk you through very briefly uh, some points that we've put together uh, of emphasis for the course of this school year. It's quite a list uh, that we have uh, joining us uh, here this evening, and you'll get to hear a little bit from each and every one of them. I won't uh, keep my trap going too long uh, so that you get to hear from them a little bit more, uh, but it's really an outstanding team. Uh, and when our staff and our parents come together for the benefit of our students, um, the results are truly amazing. They have been over the course of time here at Fairlawn High School over 75 years, and uh, they continue to be now. So we're very excited to have our team together this evening and to kick off the school year the right way. So uh, the pandemic is still always in our minds. It's the reason why uh, we're having virtual back to school night uh, once again, as opposed to welcoming you all here through our doors this evening. Um, but we've been able to have a little bit more leeway and flexibility in terms of uh, how we handle um, COVID cases when they come across, and of course uh, they do, and 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 they and they will continue to, to the point where we're able to you know make adjustments to keep our programs, our classes, and our activities up and running. And I think that that's really the shift in emphasis now uh, this school year is to uh, do everything we can in conjunction with our. Uh, our local health department and our district administration to uh, do what we need to do in terms of our contact tracing and other mitigation measures to ensure the health and safety of all of our students and staff uh, while still running all of our programs. We saw last school year and of course obviously the school year before that um, the detrimental effect that losing programs had. Uh, on all of our students, especially our seniors. Uh, and, uh, you know, we saw that, you know, with the classes of 2020 and 2021. And we're very much committed that for the class of 2022, we're going to do everything in our power uh, from now until uh, graduation day in June to ensure that they have a senior year to remember for all the right reasons. It's a very exciting uh, opening of school for us because our one-to-one -one laptop initiative has now finally been achieved. Um, right before the pandemic started, we put laptops in the hands of two of our grade levels. At that time, it was our grade nine and grade 10, our freshmen and sophomores. And over the next two years, we've rolled them into the incoming uh, freshman classes so that now every Fairlawn High School student has a Dell 3190 Windows machine laptop uh, that is a really highly functional machine. Uh, and, you know, I like to, you know, credit uh, Ms. Lubonsky and our entire uh, tech staff. Before her, Dr. Batiste Bosco was, was our instructional tech coach um, for really careful planning and a foundation that really launched uh, this really successful, this successful initiative. It's really transforming the way in which teaching and learning is taking place at Fairlawn High School to the better, really, as we're preparing students for the 21st century learning environment, for, you know, post high school learning environments. Um, they are really building skills. And I think that you're seeing that on a daily basis in their work uh, on their on their laptops at home as well. You know, there are a lot of uh, both small and large and probably large, depending upon the perspective, changes that have been taking place uh, as a result of the pandemic. Um, in terms of how we serve lunch, in terms of mask wearing, in terms of uh, limitations on, on, on and supervision on bathroom use, uh, use of student lockers, which we will be bringing back soon, um, 
by the way. Um, we've changed our bells around a little bit to have a human voice to them. ID cards uh, for a security perspective, which we're still uh, waiting um, to receive some more ID cards. So we haven't given them to all of our students yet, uh, but that will be forthcoming very soon. And events, events like this one, events that uh, previously had only been held uh, in person, we've reimagined to hold either in a, in a virtual sense or in a, in a hybrid sense, sometimes a virtual component and an in-person component. And throughout the course of the school year, some of our events will be virtual and some of our events will be in-person. Uh, and, you know, you'd given a number of uh, parents and, and, and staff that have participated in those events last school year had given some feedback about some of those individual events. And we've recognized that, you know, some are better suited to the virtual environment and some are better suited to the in-person environment. So we're taking that all into consideration as we build our calendar of events uh, for the rest of our school year. Field trips, uh, we're not there yet. Um, you know, we, we may get there hopefully at some point, uh, but right now in terms of, you know, the transportation situation, in terms of uncertainties in some of the places that we've, that we've historically gone on field trips, we're taking a cautious approach, uh, but we know that field trips are an important part of student learning, uh, and there are ones that you know do leave a very positive impact and a long-term impact for students. So we're we're looking at those, uh, you know, district-wide, not just at Fairlawn High School across the board, and hoping that at some point, uh, you know, we'll be able to start moving on some of those in a limited scale. And I think you know the combination of all these things has allowed us to be here. Uh, the fact that we were open our that we opened our doors, well, day two technically, uh, Hurricane Ida pushed us back a day, but. Um, to now and 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 moving forward that we're able to make the adjustments that we need to make in order to keep school and all of our programs in session. What is our environment? Um, you know, what are the things that 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 we seek to uh, create here for our students so that they have a welcoming uh, place to come and a challenging place to come uh, and a place where they can grow socially uh, and academically. Uh, that is what we pride ourselves on at Fairlawn High School. We have, you know, a tremendous team here of, of, of staff members who are here to support our students in that growth. Uh, and we know that there's a lot of growth to be had now this school year. Um, students who, you know, hadn't been in school for sometimes upwards of a year and a half. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for them as they're coming back. But, um, you know, the early returns have been good in terms of, in terms of, you know, the feedback that we're getting from them uh, and, you know, sort of, Kids being kids, you know, you know, starting to do sort of, you know, kind of normal stuff uh, again, which is which is, a, you know, a, a relief to us uh, and something that we're that, that we're very happy about. Um, you know, Fairlawn High School, I always am going to say this, of course, from a public relations standpoint. But uh, those of you that uh, have been in this community for any any period of time know uh, that, you know, not only do we think that that we're a very strong high school, um, outside agencies recognize that. So it's, it, it's, that's very, very important to us. Our results are very, very important to us. Um, what we offer here uh, academically to our students, the breadth of courses, the uh, rigor of courses uh, we feel um, is, uh, you know, really beyond compare for, for a comprehensive high school. Um, and that cuts all the way across the board uh, from our academics to our fine and performing arts um, we really have something to offer each and every student here at Fairlawn High School. Outside the classroom, too, um, you know, we have really a, a tremendously robust co-curricular program um, for many, many years over many, many uh, award-winning uh, and championship campaigns uh, in our uh, fine and performing arts um, and it's so much work that goes into those results uh, from our parent community, from our students, from our staff. They're a real source of pride for us here at Fairlawn High School. And what I like to say is that, you know, we have something for, every, for everyone at Fairlawn High School. And if we don't have it, we create it. Um, you know, there are so many uh, clubs and activities to suit really any student interests. We have uh, so many different ways for students to compete, uh, both you know academically, and of course the next slide will be athletically. Um, that 
every student can find their niche here. And that's what high school is all about. High school is all about finding a passion or hopefully more than one and pursuing it. Uh, and that's, you know, that's really our goal here was trying to provide as many options to students as possible. And, you know, again, as, as has been the case really throughout the pandemic and of course throughout the history of our high school, a wide ranging athletic program, giving uh, students an opportunity to compete in so many different sports. Um, and again, for the size of our school, we're able to really offer uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of sports that, that some schools uh, don't get a chance to offer. So it's a tremendous part of the tradition of Fairlawn High School. Um, we have uh, students who are currently uh, in some of the greatest uh, universities in the world, uh, in our military academies, uh, and are placed, you know, all over the country and even overseas as well uh, in very, very uh, successful uh, post high school placements. And I think that they're equipped to do that because we have um, such a strong um, early college and dual enrollment program. Uh, we have so many different ways for our students to engage in workplace readiness and college and career readiness right while they're here with us at Fairlawn High School, getting all the supports that they're getting from us that they're really building that strong foundation so that they're so ready to take that next step. And we, with the Bergen Community College Early Program, last uh, uh, May, they received their associate's degree, that uh, cohort of the class of uh, 2021. That was a tremendously proud moment for us. And now we have our second uh, cohort group that's going to be going through and, and, and doing that this spring. So all these experiences that, that students take, um, it gives them a taste of the next step uh, before they actually have to dive into the deep end. Um, and, and that really is, is providing, I think, really successful results for them and their families. And we're very, very proud of that. So our initiatives for, for this school year, um, you know, again, you know, staying safe with, with, with all COVID protocols and, and ensuring everyone's health and well-being as far as those are concerned, uh, working on our school climate, coming together as a community once again, uh, and building positive experiences and senses of belonging for our students. Our one-to-one, -one, our technology initiative, of course, continues, and especially now that we have all of our classes and all of our students um, utilizing these devices. And we have been improving our facility all along. Um, we haven't had, unfortunately, the opportunity to have as many visitors as we would have liked over time. Uh, but if you haven't been here in a while, uh, it's really looking pretty sharp. Uh, and, and, and we're very, very proud of that. And of course, our, our health and wellness uh, initiative, district-wide social emotional learning, uh, and all the components that go along with um, having our students be of sound mind and soul. Uh, and sound body, along with uh, the, the academic piece that we pride ourselves on. So um, I'm going to now, in just a moment, unshare this screen and, um, and go and give you uh, a, a, a taste of all the other folks that have, that have come here to uh, speak with you this evening. Uh, but just a couple of uh, quick notes here. Um, all You're acting essentially as your children tonight, okay? So you're going in uh, as them through the Google Classrooms uh, that the teachers have set up for them. The links are all in there for you to access those teacher sessions. Um, each period is 10 minutes with five minutes in between each, all right? So you can navigate from one to the other, uh, take, a, take a, a break to have a refreshment, things like that as, as you go along. Um, and there are some open sessions as well. So our child study team and our uh, uh, substance awareness coordinator are having an open session. Uh, our our uh, media specialist and instructional technology coach are having an open session. Our nurses are having an open session. So you can pop into those, any of those times, periods two, three, four, five, or six. Um, likely, most, most likely when your child has lunch uh, scheduled, as there's not a session, then that might be a time that you want to pop into one of those other sessions. So I hope you enjoy the evening. Uh, and right now I'm going to put the screen so that you can see some other faces. So here we are. All right. So um, 
First up uh, is our vice principal, Nicole Matina. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Um, as vice principal, I work alongside Mrs. Brenda Gupta overseeing the guidance department, specifically as it relates to overseeing all of our students' academic programming. Um, it's our ultimate goal this year and every year, but especially this year, to get students connected to all of the programming Mr. Gorski mentioned. We have a really strong co-curricular program, a lot of academic offerings, including dual enrollment courses where students can earn college credits for the courses they're enrolled in here. Um, that's something that's going on now that I've spoke to um, those students about. So tons of opportunities, and it's my job to make sure that the students are connected in the right ways. Any questions you have, I encourage you to reach out. Um, and I also ask that you encourage your students to get connected. Um, having a person, a place, an activity in high school is one of the single most important factors as it relates to their success. And anything we can do to contribute to that, we are here to do. So I hope you enjoy tonight's program. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bettina. And now our assistant principals, uh, Dr. Batiste Bosco and Mr. Aiello. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Stephanie Batiste Bosco. I'm the grade uh, administrator for the 10th and 12th grade students. Um, also uh, working side by side with Mr. Aiello, who will introduce himself in a second. But we, you know, work side by side in what we do in terms of focusing on discipline and attendance. So you can reach out to us if you have any questions in those areas, but we also support your children in the areas of athletics and student activities. So in regards to student activities, um, I work hand in hand with Ms. Hayek as well in supporting those programs and making sure that your children are involved uh, as best as they can and really stay connected uh, in those ways. So please know that we're here for you. Um, reach out anytime. Again, we work side by side, so you can reach out to either one of us, um, but we're here to support you even above and beyond the discipline and attendance aspect. Mr. Aiello. Good evening. Uh, my name is Vincent Aiello. I am the assistant principal for students in grades nine and 11. Uh, this is my first year in the district. I am extremely excited to be here and to be working with your uh, and also with you. Uh, so any questions that you guys have throughout the year, please be sure to reach out to me either um, by phone or by email. Um, you know, it's been a, a, a great year so far and we're looking forward to, you know, all the great things that your students are going to be doing. Uh, I work alongside uh, Mr. Robinson, who will be talking to you later on uh, with athletics. And uh, if you see me at a game, come over and say hello and introduce yourself. Uh, excited to meet you. I hope you all have a great uh, back to school night. Thank you, Mr. Aiello. Okay, that's an introduction for Mr. Robinson. Go ahead, Mr. Robinson. Thanks, Mr. Gorski and Mr. Aiello for that introduction. Um, just like to welcome everybody back to the back to school night. Really, athletics has been back since early August, and um, we've had our meet the coaches night. We, we had our opening PCA meeting, which Mr. Daniel mentioned to you when he speaks. And uh, we've been doing great. We've been moving in the right direction, so much different than it was last year. And again, if you have any questions or anything, you could always drop me an email or, or call the office. Just a couple of dates that were important. October 29th, our winter sports physicals are due. And February 11th are for the spring season. So please try to keep mind of those dates and get everything in so Dr. Shoshani can clear your physical on time and, and your students will be able to get back on the field and gym and so forth on time and ready to play. And just to close it out, we are in athletic program, but we are academic based and, and our sports program starts at three o'clock, whether it be the marching band, the football team, the hockey team, lacrosse, volleyball, whatever it is, we are, we are an eight to three. And then we, 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 you know, we, we segue out into our athletic program. So let's keep that in mind and let's have a great year. Go cutters. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. Uh, Ms. Hayek now, our coordinator of student activities. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy uh, to be here tonight uh, and uh, particularly that our programs are really back up and running um, in a an in-person fashion. Last year, we were able to maintain our student activities program, um, but mainly in a virtual setting. And so we were able to, you know, host a lot of activities last year, but this time, uh, you know, this year now, 
Uh, we are looking to sort of rebuild some of our programs to continue with um, our very, very robust activities program. Um, definitely wanted to mention that this Friday we'll be hosting our club fair, uh, which is a great showcase of all of the clubs and activities that we here offer here at the high school. Uh, we were uh, really focusing a lot of attention on this particular activity to give students an opportunity to kind of see firsthand and speak to students who are active in these clubs. Uh, you know, uh, an opportunity for every single student in the building uh, to uh, find out more about these programs. So uh, we are running our club fair for the first time for a full eight period day, instead of it just being during the lunches where students would go voluntarily, students will visit the club fair during their lunchtime on Friday. So. Sounds like a great dinner time activity to have with your student to say, would you see a club fair today and what clubs are we going to join? Um, please, at any time throughout the school year, please reach out to me. Uh, there's a wonderful advisor team. I have wonderful support from the administration, uh, particularly by Dr. B, and we are looking to have just as strong of a program as we've had um, in all the years of Fairland High School. So please reach out any time and um, enjoy your evening. Thank you, Ms. Haig. Next, our testing coordinator. Good evening, everyone. My name is Brian Hicks. I'm the testing coordinator. Um, I have to say that testing is back with a vengeance after having a bit of a year and a half to two year break. It will kick off next week with the ACT and Start Strong. You received an email last week about Start Strong. And then we have our Super Bowl of testing on October 13th, where every student in the building will be taking some test. Um, please look at your email over the next few days. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm also the SSD coordinator. So if you have any questions about accommodations, you can speak to your child's case manager or guidance counselor, or you can reach out to me directly. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hicks. Uh, Mr. Rosamano and Ms. Papadix, uh, just very quickly on the, on the mental health aspect and the HIV aspect as well. Hi, everyone. My name is Kara Papadix. I'm one of the guidance counselors here. I'm also the anti-bullying specialist. So working closely with administration, it's my role to investigate claims of harassment, intimidation, and bullying. I also chair the school climate team, um, which is responsible for establishing and maintaining a positive school environment. I am Mr. Rusmano. I am the social worker on the child study team and also a member of the climate team with Ms. Papadix. Um, Basically, my role and my colleagues up here is to help out not with just our students, but all the students in the building for any mental health, social, emotional, behavioral assistance that they may need. So we're here for everybody in the building to try to help through these difficult times of high school. So thank you all for uh, listening and hope you have a nice evening. Thank you. Ms. Lebonsky, uh, you'll be able to be visited later on, so you'll be... <laughs> I will be quick, I promise. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Lubonsky. I'm the instructional technology coach. And as Mr. Gorski mentioned a few times, we are so excited to be a fully one-to-one -one district this year. I hope you visit us beginning this year and for now on. I hope you visit us during periods two through six when I present with Ms. Bauman, our librarian. Thank you, Ms. Lubonsky. And now, yay, uh, here we have our PTA president, Mrs. McClements. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa McClements, and I'm excited to start my second year as PTA president here at the high school. I'm also an FLHS alumni, so I know how important it is to be a cutter and for um, how important it is for all of your children to have the best school experience that they can. Um, I urge you all in attendance tonight, you know, to join PTA. I know it's 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 crazy, but we are uh, an amazing organization that brings a lot of um, valuable uh, programs and resources to our students. Um, I urge you all to become not only involved, but informed parents by joining PTA. Um, it is truly one of the most rewarding experiences you can do with and for your child. And we welcome your contribution as members in any capacity you're able to give, whether it's your time, your resources, or your creativity. Memberships are $15 per individual or $25 for a family membership. They can be purchased on memberhub.com. I will post that link to our Facebook page. And being a paid member not only supports our organization from a monetary standpoint, um, it also grants your child eligibility um, for the PTA scholarships, um, of which we award five each year to graduating seniors. Um, our meetings are held on the first Wednesdays of the month, 
and they are regularly attended by Mr. Borski and Ms. Matina and many other, other uh, administrators and advisors who are all um, incredible partners um, of the PTA and who make themselves available um, to you every month at our meetings to address any of your concerns or your, or your questions. Um, information is shared about school happenings and uh, about what's going on in the district as well. So if you want to stay in the know, come join us at our meetings. Um, now, I know I just said that the meetings were the first Wednesdays, but there is a conflict with October. So our first meeting is October, Wednesday, October the 13th at 7 p.m. We will be meeting in the high school in person this year. So we'll be in the D cafeteria, plenty of room for social distancing. Um, and, and like I said, as of right now, all of the meetings will be in person unless otherwise communicated. Um, but thank you for your time tonight. I look forward to meeting all of you along the way. Uh, hopefully this will be uh, a more normal year uh, than we had last year. Uh, but I urge you, you know, to contact the PTA by email, pta.flhs at gmail.com. We welcome your input, your questions, your ideas. Um, and check and like us on Facebook. Um, stay informed that way as well. Enjoy the rest of your night and support those fundraisers. Thanks. Thank you very much. Ms. Defino, Friends of Music. Thank you. Hello and welcome, everyone. We'd like to wish everyone a, a safe and successful school year. My name is Danielle Defino. I'm the president of the Fairlawn Friends of Music. We're a K through 12 PTA. We promote support and raise funds to assist music teachers throughout our district. Your membership will go to support needed grants to supplement music teachers' budgets. We provide an avenue for music scholarships at the high school level, which are available to anyone in music programs. Please become a member at flfom.com. You can access our membership there, or you can access our membership form on the high school website under parent groups under FOM, F-O-M. And if you have any questions, fairlawnfriendsofmusic at gmail.com and like us on Facebook. Our first membership meeting is tomorrow night in the BCAF in person, yay, um, at 7.30 in the BCAF. So please come along. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Defino. And Ms. Gershauer, Flace. Hi, thank you so much, Mr. Gorski. Good evening, guys. Um, so my name is Carmen Gershauer. My friends call me Mel. Um, I am your president of FLACE, which is the Fairland Association for Special Education. Um, we are a district-wide PTO, um, just like Mrs. Defino said. Um, we service preschool through 21. Um, so we are, you know, taking membership. If you want to join, you can find all of our information on the district website. We are under the students and parents tab. Um, FLACE, and then you can join our group there. We are on Facebook under FLACE. Um, our email is FLACEPTO at gmail.com. And, you know, we look forward to, you know, having many parent socials this year that we missed out on last year. Um, so if you can join a $10 membership fee, we will put you on our email list and we will, um, invite you to all of those parent socials to kind of bring the community together. Um, we have a lot of different um, services that we provide throughout the district, learn more on the website. Um, but just to summarize FLACE, we're all about uh, unity, acceptance, uh, inclusion is a big one, and uh, just support and just being there for each other. Um, and then kind of like Mrs. McClements also mentioned, um, we offer two scholarships to two graduating seniors. So be sure to join FLACE, and I also look forward to meeting all of you along the way. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you very much. And last but certainly not least, Parents Committee for Athletics, Mr. Denny. Thank you, Mr. Gorski. Uh, Parents Committee for Athletics is a 5013C um, run organization that works with the uh, athletic programs through the school um, with uh, sponsoring scholarships and any assistance that the coaches need um, financially. So uh, if you're interested in joining us, we would love to have you. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me at flhspcapresent at gmail.com. And our uh, meetings are posted on the high school website. So we look forward to seeing you. 
Great. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, very excited. Uh, it is now time to go to period one. So get there, get there, get there quickly. Everyone, big Zoom wave. Enjoy back to school night. See you again soon. Take care, everybody.